And so how did your nation go from a natural nature of being a man or male to an unnatural nature of becoming a woman? How did that happen? So, you said the unnatural nature of me becoming a woman? Yeah, how, you know, you, if you were born a natural male, right? You're born a natural male. Right, you were, right? I'm an, I, am, I am a male currently sitting here in front of you. But how did you go from being a natural male to an unnatural woman? Who's an unnatural woman? Uh, just before we started the show, you said that you had to do your, uh, is he your husband or your wife? Is that your husband? He's gonna be your husband or your mm -hmm. wife? I'm going to end this interview. Right. Why? Because yeah. I because we're ending this right now. Why you want to end? We're ending it. Well, Take right, this come off. Back. Take this off. YouTube, what it do? It's your boy V Reacts. I'm bumming that shit with a brand new video. Hey, man, today we got a banger. Y'all know it's going to be a banger. Just look at the screen. Hey, man, we got weird ending this right now. Pastor Storms of Interview, man. If I'm pretty, if I'm 100% sure, bro, this is Jesse Lee Peterson. Look, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I am a new reaction to this. I've never seen him before. I've never watched one of his interviews. But somebody told me in the comments that this is the interview to watch if I wanted to watch him. So we're going to do it. Man, I ain't going to lie, bro. I hate when these pimples be coming up, bro. This should be having a nigga looking rough. But look, before we get into the video, man, if y'all can, bro, can y'all go down and like the video right now? Because look, if you like the intro, you're going to like the video. So you might as well do that. Comment if you got something to say about the video or me. Subscribe if you're new and follow the content, man. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. For real. Welcome to the Father State. I am Jesse Peterson. Help us fight censorship by hitting the thumbs up, thumbs up button, and then don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. You can ring my bell, ring the bell, all right? I uh, have with me today, Pastor Kurt D. Thomas. He's a singer pastor of the Re Renewed Church of Los Angeles, am I right? That is Renewed Church of Los Angeles. Thank you for coming. Well, thank you for having me. I absolutely appreciate it. Thank you. And so, were you called to be a pastor, or, or did you go to school for it? Um, well, at the age of nine, um, I felt the presence of God um, over me. I grew up in a Pentecostal church, uh -huh. so I went through that entire Pentecostal experience. And it wasn't until I matriculated through um, college um, that I decided to get a, um, a bachelor's degree um, in... Um, theology, or to study theology while I was at Stillman College. Oh, I see. So God didn't call you, you just, you, you decided to oh, go no. to school for it. No, no, no. I believe that I was called by God to do what I do. Oh, you do? Yes. And why did you, why do you believe that? Why do I believe that I was called? Uh -huh. um, I know that I'm, that I'm called to do what I do because the, the, because I have a passion and I have a, desire to see people elevated from where they are to where they need to be. Oh, okay. And when you say where they are, do you believe that human beings are in a fallen state? Um, explain what you mean by that. Uh, in fallen, a fallen uh, you're a pastor, you should know. Yeah, but I'm, but what, explain what, what do you mean by <laughs> a fallen state? Do you know, uh, do you b believe that human beings are in a fallen state? You know what fallen means, a right? A fallen state means that they've fallen from the grace of, of God. Is yes. That, is that what you're, okay. Right. Um, so I believe that people, ha people, that humans have fallen from a fallen state, but with the whole deal with reconciliation, I think that God reconciles us back to himself. So you do agree then that human beings have fallen away from God, right? That humans have fallen away from God according to Adam right. and all of that, yes. And then at some point, those who want to, who seek him will come back. Those who, who seek him are that he's called back to them, yes, then they will. Is it, or is it possible to overcome that fallen state? It is possible to overcome that fallen state if we accept, um, if we accept Christ back into our hearts. Right. So How does one know when they're in a fallen state? Well, a person will know that they're in a fallen state when, or, is, is when they don't 
live a a life that's acceptable i believe that's really acceptable to themselves so like a person that is a drug addict or a person that is um drinks too much liquor um a person that maybe um not possibly not living their best life or their or what doing what they're called to do. I think that those people are the people that find themselves in a fallen state. Are you a homosexual? I am a um, same gender loving man. So it doesn't mean you're a homosexual? It means that I'm a same gender loving man. But just for, I'm black and slow. Okay. And just for the record, does that mean you're a homosexual? I yeah, I could be considered a homosexual. Are yes. you considered, I don't want to think of you if yeah, you're not. I'm a homosexual. You're a homosexual? Yes. And so you're a homosexual pastor? I am a homosexual pastor, yes. How long oh. have you been a homosexual pastor? Um, I've been a pastor um, for eight years uh, senior pastor, and then before that, prior to that, um, I was a youth pastor. Oh, okay. Why do you think that God would call a, a person, a homosexual, to be a pastor but not change him? So, uh, <laughs> hold on, bro. <laughs> Why do you think that God would call a uh, a person, a homosexual to be a pastor, but not change him. <laughs> Basically saying, why would God pick you and you gay, but not change the fact that you was gay? He was just talking about a fallen, the fallen. My nigga, do you not know? How, you was a living contradiction. You was the fallen. The pastor's not supposed to be doing a lot. I ain't gonna lie. I done heard of the pastors that was cheating on their wives. I done heard of those, the ones that was, you know, I heard of those, but I ain't never heard of no gay pastors now. And how long ago this was? Five years ago. Hey, a lot done changed since then, bro. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be shocked right now to this day if it was some shiny pastors or something else. Back then, this was revolutionary, though. He don't even know he started a whole rave. That's crazy. So, um, I don't think that God majors where we minor. Uh, and, I, and so I think that what happens is I think that we put limitations on God that God doesn't have. Um, for example, um, we could, in, if you go to seminary or something like that, you find out that there's a thought process that God could possibly be a woman or that God could be this or that God could be that. That God can be whatever it is that you need him to be. You believe so, that he can be a woman? I believe that God can be whatever it is that you need him to be. So could it be a homosexual too if you needed him to be one? Well, honestly, I don't think that God, God, the Bible says that God is neither male nor female. Right, so how so, can it be a woman then if he's not a female? Well, I'm saying that, so there's a book that's by, um, by watch by who's the book by? Hey, he's starting to fuck up. He, <laughs> I know he's starting to feel pressure, bro, because he's starting to fuck up. You know, <laughs> there's a book that is written. It's called hey. um, what is it called? But well, that's all right by the title. What about the book? But in the book, um, the principles of the book talk about. God swaying himself to um, to this and it's called The Shack by W.M. Paul Young. And so if you read that book, then you find out that God basically finds himself congruent to whatever state of mind a person is, is in. And so at one state, God is a Jewish carpenter. At one state, God shows himself as, um, as a big black um, woman in the kitchen cooking. Be a black woman. Uh, a black woman in the kitchen, <laughs> in the kitchen cooking. Uh, and so, so you think God can be a big black woman? I think that God can be whatever it is that you need God really? to be at that moment. Do you think that God can be a homosexual too? I don't. If God needs to be a homosexual, I think that He was, but I don't liken Him to that. I'm so good like right now, way. y'all. I don't liken God to be, um, to. To, to be an isolated gender. So you believe that God could be a woman or be a black woman, God a homosexual? Be, God could be whatever you need God to be. 
And so, so does that person make God what they want him to be in their mind so they can accept being wrong? Or I does God switch genders and all that kind of stuff? I don't think that, um, I don't think that God, that we create God to be whatever we want God to be in our minds. I think that it's based on experiences. The experiences of that person allows God to trans, uh, to to transform himself in whatever it is that that person needs to be. For an example, bro, what is this dude saying, bro? Does he not know who the like? What the fuck is he talking about? This is why you don't freestyle on camera, bro, because you end up just saying some whole complete bullshit about who the fuck you is as a person, who the fuck you believe, bro. You don't even know what the fuck you believe. It ain't making no sense, bro. Said. You can transfer God in the image that you want him to be. And no, bro, you, you, you don't transform him, fam. You believe what you believe, but you don't transform him into some whole different kind of shit, my nigga. Like, what is you saying, though? You said he was a big black woman in the kitchen. That's what fucked me up at first. Then he, then he said, or he could be a gay man. My nigga. It's a reason why the natural state of the earth is always man and woman, bro. It's always male, masculine, and feminine. This nigga lost in the bitch, bro. I ain't gonna lie. He lost in the sauce. Look, I'm gonna get to where it get greasy at. We gonna skip forward in the video, man. I'm gonna find it for y'all, man. I'll be back. And so how did your nation go from a natural nature of being a man or male to an unnatural nature of becoming a woman? How did that happen? So you said the unnatural nature of me becoming a woman? Yeah, how, you know, you, if you were born a natural male, right? You're born a natural male. Right, you were, right? I'm an, I, am, I am a male currently sitting here in front of you. But how did you go from being a natural male to an unnatural woman? Who's an unnatural woman? But isn't homosexuality is like being a, a female feelings? No. <laughs> what is it? No. What is it exactly? Being, being gay is... Are being being gay, being a homosexual, whatever term like um, that that a person wants to right. use to identify themselves, it's an innate state of being. It means that this this is who that person is. It, it, if I'm not a woman, I I'm a man sitting here in front of you having a conversation. I have a penis, just like you have. Well, a you penis. do have the male parts, but now they cutting that off too. Did you hear about that? We'll get to that. But do you feel, in, inwardly, do you feel like a male or you feel like a female? I am a male sitting here in front of you. No, but what do you, what do you feel I like? I feel like a male. And inside? I am, I am a male sitting here in front <laughs> I, of you. I realize that, but inside, do you feel like a man or you feel like a woman? I am a male sitting here in front of you. So that answers your question, right? I, know, I don't feel like anything because I am a male. You don't feel like neither male nor woman? I am a male sitting here in front of you. <laughs> I realize hey, yo. that, but, but what made you think you're a homosexual then? If there's not a <laughs> feeling on your side, why do you think you're homosexuality homosexual? Homosexuality is not a feeling. It's a state of being. It's, a, it's who the person innately is. Uh, it has nothing to do with, it has nothing to do with creating a feeling that, that you're talking about. It's an innate it's, it's the innate nature of who that person is. I innately am who I am. Me being gay or, or homosexual has nothing to do for me with being a man. It has everything to do with my preference and who I choose to sleep with. What does the word in, innately mean? What does that mean? <laughs> I'm black and slow. I don't know what that means. The word innate. Uh -huh. The word innate means that hey. it, is that you. I'm not changing. Or I'm not becoming something else. I am who I am. Uh, just before we started the show, you said that you had to do your. Uh, is he your husband or your wife? Is that your husband? He gonna be your husband or your mm -hmm. wife? I'm gonna end this interview. All right. Why? Because yeah, I because we're ending this right now. Why you want to end? We're ending it. But well, right, come back. Take this off. When you want to have a real conversation, I'm call me. I'm no, you're bullshitting me. Come and back. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Come take this off of me. I'm gonna take it with me. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> no, no. Let's watch that one more time, bro. I'm gonna see if y'all people the second time around.
innate nature of who that person is. I innately am who I am. Me being gay or, or homosexual has nothing to do for me with being a man. It has everything to do with my preference and who I choose to sleep with. What does the word in, innately mean? What does that mean? I'm black and slow. I don't know what that means. The word innate. Uh -huh. The word innate means that it is that you. I'm not changing. Or I'm not becoming something else. I am who I am. Uh, just before we started the show, you said that you introduced your. Uh, is he your husband or your wife? Is that your husband? He's gonna be your husband or your wife? <laughs> I'm gonna end this interview. Right. Why? Because I because we're ending this right now. Why you wanna end? We're ending it. Well, Take, wait, this come back. Take this off. Take this off. When you wanna have a real conversation, I'm call me. I'm, no, you're bullshitting me. Come and back. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be a part of that. Come take this off of me or I'm gonna take it with me. Hey, bro, I said, come back. <laughs> but why are you, why are you running? Come this is funny, off. bro, bro, bro. All bro doing is asking questions. You can't, you can't comfortably ask, answer questions about yourself, bro. If you that, like, you shouldn't find nothing offensive because that's who you is. If you feel like he joking at you, he definitely is. Because, like, what the fuck is you got going on as a man, bro? You can't call yourself a man and, and be feeling how you feeling, acting like he, how you acting, bro. At all, you can't even, bro. Can you even? De can he even defend himself as a man? He messed up, bro. He messed, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, okay, 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 okay. It could be a gay audience watching my channel. I understand this, but like, if somebody asks you questions about yourself, you gotta be able to answer questions about who you is as a person, just like I or anybody that's else that's normal would be able to do. You know what I'm saying? So it's like at least have, at least know yourself before you come on a on a podcast where he's gonna ask you about your life and your life story. He said at the age of nine he knew he was gay, bro. Bro, at the age of nine, I was bad as fuck. I wasn't even worried about anything else. That's not normal, bro. And now you already attracted to some so. That's not normal, so I think he probably been in a situation where he was probably touched on and played with. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, but that's why he would actually have to ask him about his life. You know, if he getting offended because the interviewer don't know whether when a gay person get married, would they be husband and wife or husband and husband? Like, how does the titles go? You know what I'm saying? Because it's not nothing that we used to. So he's trying to learn. Bro, taking everything offensive. So how are we going to even get down to the root reason of why you that way when you can't even answer basic questions? You get what I'm saying? So it's like, this on him, bro. I ain't going to lie, this on him, but I'm going to go back into the video because I want to see the rest. I know the rest is going to be funny, too. Off of me, or I'm going to take it with me. Please take it off of me. Really? Because you're, you're disrespecting me. But no, so, man, you really Please take it off. Am I asking him really serious questions? No, I'm saying. <laughs> Like why he talking like he's he, he purposely making a girly sound to his voice. Like don't play with me. Uh, I'm gonna like everybody can do that. We could play like that, but he's playing like that a hundred percent of the time. <laughs> when he get mad, I know he's gonna act his natural way. Right now, you could tell this is a fake persona he got going on. Just let me take their recording, just trying to get a reaction. Well said. It's okay. Uh, be quiet. No, that's not okay. So, oh. just take it off. Yeah, but yeah, tell me he's why about take it off. Like he I'm can't take it off, sir. But when you want to have a real conversation, we'll get you. you have my information. You but you said me. that you were gonna. When you want to have a real conversation, well, you said when you, you want to have a real conversation, you, you go marry this me. guy. Yeah. When you want to have, he's a guy. You're calling him a female. You're being just. I, I asked if you gonna call him husband or wife. Come back. Do you want to be interviewed? Oh. Amazing. Hey, yes it is. Well, they gone. <laughs> That's oh, amazing. Them showing the clip of them actually leaving is crazy. They gone, they walked away. So the deal is that was uh 
Pastor Kurt D. Thomas. And Kurt D. Thomas is a senior pastor of the Renewed Church of Los Angeles. And he is a admitted homosexual pastor. And what he does is he works with men. They uh, host a monthly men's group, they say. Uh, so I wanted to know about all that. But during the, just before we started the show, he introduced this other male, a black male, that he said that they were going to get married soon. And I know that these people are doing that, and they call it a marriage. So I want to just kind of lay out that first. No, I had for no real. idea that he was going to run, because if they are proud of being what they are, and they say that it's normal, you would think that they would want to talk about it. But apparently not. And so I don't know what's going to happen, but he's gone. There's a, I know you're praying for him anymore. He gone. Hey, he's that gone boy back. gone. That boy gone. But look, I ain't going to lie, though, y'all. Look, look, I ain't going to lie. I know everybody might think I'm trying to fake a reaction or something, but no, this is genuinely my first time watching this. I never heard of uh, what's his name, Jesse Lee. Pe I've never heard of Jesse Lee Peterson, bro. Swear to God, ever in my life. And so I'm not gonna lie. Over the, you know, I'm finna be cranking his videos because I enjoy watching them, even if this don't get no views because it's an old video, whatever the case may be. It don't matter to me, but if anybody who's watching right now, man, I truly appreciate you for watching the video. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to enjoy any of my other videos. So, bro, just go ahead. Be sure to subscribe, bro. Like the video right now. Comment for the algorithm for me, man. But without further ado, it's been your boy Vic Reacts, man. If you like this video, you're going to like this video right here. If not, you got this video or this video. You got three videos on the screen, bro. Pick one. If not, man, just make sure you subscribe before you click off, man. Instagram, Twitch, Snapchat. Make sure to follow your boy, add me up, man. I'll be on there too. Going geek. Hey, it's been your boy, Vic Reacts. Peace.